Hi, I'm Patty B. Hanna, and thank you for joining me in the studio today. In this video, I'm going to show you a technique we call lifting with perfect pearls. So let's get started. All right, to begin, the first thing we have to do is make a background full of perfect pearls. And I'm using Distress Heavy White Black cardstock. And I have my perfect medium ink pad. And I'm going to swipe the pad over the entire background. And when you're doing this technique, you want to get an ink pad that's very well inked. So you might want to use your re-inker if your pad is dry and just get um, your ink pad ready to go. So I want the ink to fully cover the cardstock. Bring it, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this, but so you want to get a good coverage of ink like so. And then working pretty quickly, I have Forever Blue that I'm going to sprinkle with my large brush. And I'm just going to dip it in the pearls and sp sprinkle it on in a random pattern so I get a little bit in all the different areas of the card. Then I'm going to wipe off my brush. Then I have turquoise next. And I'm going to do the same thing. Whoops, that was a little bit too much, but that's okay. I want to have the background more light than dark, so I'm going to add more light colors than the dark. Okay, I'll wipe my brush off again. And next I'm using mint. And I'll do the same thing. Just randomly put it in the background here. Okay, and now the next step is I'm just gonna pounce the color in so that I get the color where it landed. We don't want to swirl the whole background just yet. That'll be the next step. We just want to make sure we have certain colors in the spot where we put them. Okay, and once it's all pounced in, I'm going to go ahead and swipe off my brush again, and then we're going to swirl the colors to get any spots we might have missed. We'll make sure I get the excess off. I'm rubbing my brush again. Okay. And I'm even going to go one step further and I'm going to lightly just rub off the excess. And I'll try to get a clean piece of towel each time I do that. This will just, because there's a lot of, I got a lot of pearls on here. Okay. And I'm also going to wipe off my area here. Now, this is the fun part where um, we lift off the pearls using a, a rubber stamp. Now you wanna use something that has bold lines to get the best results. If you pick a stamp that has very thin lines, it, it may not lift off as much as you'd like. So you're gonna ink up your stamp with the perfect medium. And then the part where you wanna lift it off, you'll just stamp randomly and I'm going to make um, a background so I'm going to do this multiple times okay, let me lift it up so that you can see see how it lifted up the pearls and now when I want to do the next step I want to clean my stamp again and actually I'm going to dry it And I'll ink up the stamp again. And 
and I'll just keep doing this until I get the look I want. Again, we're removing the ink. You want to make sure you start with a clean stamp every time. here and I'm stamping off the edge. I'm going to lift this up again so you can see. So you have that pretty pearly background with some of the pearls lifted to reveal your stamp. It's just another way to use the pearls for a different look. And you don't have to just do this um, on cards, you could do this in your journals. Oops, I'm going to do it um, one more time. Over here. And then I think I'm done and I'm ready to put this together. So there's one more step before we do that. And what I want to do is mist it with some water to set the pearls. And I'm going to get these out of the way because I don't want the water to go into my open pearls. And I'm just going to use the mister to spray and I'll wave the card through. Okay. So this is um, a little bit wet. So again, we're going to let this dry and it'll set and we're going to put the card together. I already made a background and let me just make sure my area is clean and we'll, we'll, I'll show you what it looks like when it's dry. See how beautiful that is and, and it makes such an interesting background. So I'm going to put this card together real quick. And I think I like it facing that way. Like so. And then I have the sentiment that I already embossed that I'm going to add. down in the corner. This would make a fun graduation card. Great things ahead. Or if somebody's starting a new job, just look how beautiful that shimmer is. Okay, so let me show you some other things that we did. We have this one where we just um, left it as it is because we thought it was just perfect without a sentiment because it says wow awesome that's a good encouragement card and then here's another that we did we used like a back just a full background stamp and that one was just one color here's another multicolored one it's another background stamp and then here we made stripes. That's kind of cool. And then we just use a sentiment and then that's it. So I hope you'll give this technique a try. And if you'd like to see more videos of using perfect pearls, keep watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss a thing.